Today we are going to be showing you how to finger it. It's really awesome and simple. Now let's get started. So first for your project you're going to need scissors and you're going to need string, of course. So first you need a slip knot. If you don't know how, I can show you. So, so you take your string and you make it like that, a little bunny loop. And then you twist it towards you just one or two times. Then you put your pointer finger and your thumb through and you grab the big string, this one right here, and you pull this tail that I'm holding. You pull. Now, here you have it. You got your slip knot. Should look like this. So, now, to finger it, you, okay, pretend this is a pond, okay, this loop, and pretend this is a fish. You go through the pond, and you catch the fish, and you pull the fish up. So, let's do it again. You go through the pond, pull the fish. Through the pond, pull the fish. Now, if your loop get, starts to get too big, it's going to start unraveling. So, I'd suggest you put your finger through the loop but before you do this. You pull the long string and make sure it doesn't get too small or else it will unravel too. So, here it is. Your finger knitting. So, you keep doing that. Pull the, see the pond? Pull the fish. R really simple once you get to know it. So, you keep doing that. Keep on doing it until you are finished. You can make it however long you want. It will start to look really cool. At the first few stitches, it will look a tiny bit weird. You'll be like, what? I, don't, I think I messed up. So you didn't actually mess up it. All finger knitting chains look like that. And you can use it for a keychain, a bracelet, even a headband if it's big enough. And you can make necklaces out of them or anklets or anything you want. Just probably not a scarf. Yeah. It wouldn't be warm enough. Yeah. Especially right now. Especially when it's like, winter. It's like February yeah. 8th. Yeah. Something like that. Anyways. Back to the finger knitting. So, in case you forgot, you go through the pond, pull the fish. So you keep doing that until you don't really have enough string left. Yeah, but you got to keep going until the string. It's okay if you pull it and it comes out. If you just finish it and then just take the, string, the loop out, then it, the whole bracelet will break. The whole thing will break. Yeah, if you pull this string. If you want to start over, just pull this string really hard. It will all disappear in a jippy. Yeah. And then you do the loop again. So it's pretty simple. Yeah. But not potion we're going to teach you. On um, the next thing. Yeah. And if you want to Google us, you just Google Lily and Leela. That's yeah. it. L-I-L-I. L-I-L-Y and L-I-L-A. Yeah. It's really easy, I think. I names are almost the same except the last letter. Okay, so after the loop, you only got a short bit of string. So you take the string through your loop, all of it, and then you simple, just pull the string, and voila, your finger knitting chain is done. You don't have to have the same string as that. You can have any string, string works. String like this string that I. Crochet, I crochet. Any string works. And this string works too. 
any one you want. And yeah, you can even push. You can even you can even um fingernail your hair. Yeah, you can. It's really distracting in school, though. Believe me, I know it. It's well, really hard, actually. So, well, well, um, time to crochet on the next video. So, yeah. bye.